It's never been easier for others to schedule appointments with you during your optimal availability in Google Calendar. Hey friends, I'm Teja Custodi and I make a ton of content like this, but for today, I want to focus on a new Google Calendar booking schedule feature. With this new appointment schedule feature in Google Calendar, you can create a booking page that you can share with others so they can book a time with you that works for both parties. So here's how to create a booking schedule in Google Calendar. This is so cool. From your Google Calendar, click on a block of time to pull up your event creation pop-up. Here, you'll notice a new appointment schedule feature up underneath the add title option. Click on that option to create a new appointment schedule. Here, underneath the time and date you've selected, you'll have a little info icon that tells you that you can create a booking page to share with others so they can book a time with you. And by the way, if you click on see how it works, this will walk you through this new feature where you can actually test out the feature before you make a real booking page. So this can be really helpful for you to get used to it before going live with an actual booking page. But back to creating a bookable appointment schedule. So back in our appointment schedule pop-up, I'm going to title this something like schedule a time with me but you can really name it whatever works for you. So right now I have this set up for Monday between 10 to 11 a.m. And maybe I'll reset that for 10 to 12, and then I'll click on set up the schedule. Here on the left-hand side, now we have got my bookable appointment schedule. So let's adjust some of these settings here. The first thing up near the top is the appointment duration. We can change that to anything from 15 minute appointments to something completely custom. I'm just going to set this to 30 minutes. Then we've got a general availability section. This is super helpful because here is where we can set repeating availability if we want. Currently, you can adjust this to not repeat. So if you want to set a one-off booking page that never reoccurs, you can. Or you can set it to repeat weekly. Then underneath that, we can change our availability for each day of the week as well. So maybe I want to change my availability on Thursday. I will click on the plus symbol to the right of that date and automatically Google Calendar will block out my nine to five day with 30 minute time slots again. Now, again, if I want to adjust this time, I can do so by changing the start and end time. So maybe I'm free on Thursday afternoon only. Now, if I want to copy this, it's really easy to do so. Say you want to always have this availability for each of your appointment days, meaning I've got Monday marked as available, but maybe I want this same time block as Thursday. I'm just going to click on copy to all option to the right of this plus symbol. And now this appointment block has been copied to Monday. Notice it's only copying to days that you have already designated availability. So you could just adjust your week and schedule availability however it is that you see fit here. And of course, underneath this is your time zone. So I'm in Scottsdale, so it's pulling my time zone automatically for me. Yours will be based on wherever your location is. So if someone is on Eastern time schedule and they're viewing my schedule, that difference is accounted for. Okay, so underneath that is the scheduling window. This is a really cool feature. So the default is set so that people can schedule within your availability blocks anywhere from 60 days in advance to up to four hours before. If you want to change that, you just click the drop down arrow. Here you can actually set start and end dates that limit the date range of appointments. So if you don't want to be available right now, you can set the start date for when this scheduling window actually starts and ends. So instead of it running forever, you can set an end date. But let's cancel out of that for now because here are the maximum and minimum times that people can book out appointments. So if you want people to book out indefinitely into the future with you, you would uncheck this maximum days option here, or you can set a different number of maximum days. Underneath that is where you can set a minimum number of hours before the appointment that it can be booked. So again, you can uncheck this if you don't mind someone booking last minute with you, but I would obviously recommend against that. So I'm actually going to change this to 48 hours. 
So someone's got to book with me at least two days in advance so that I have some prep time for that appointment. Obviously, depending on what work it is that you do, or if you're setting this for internal coworkers only, leaving it with a few hours notice is probably fine. So now that I've got a weekly schedule set, I can adjust the availability for a specific date. So instead of all day on Friday, maybe I'm bouncing early and I'm only available in the morning. You can just keep clicking on change a date's availability to customize that specific date. So now we get to another really great feature to help you dial in your appointment settings. Here we have a dropdown for booked appointment settings. The default here will give you no buffer time and no maximum bookings per day. So this could get really overwhelming if you have a lot of people wanting to book you back to back. So let's click on the dropdown menu. Here, maybe I wanna buffer between each appointment so I can do a quick debrief before the next meeting. Just click on that buffer time option and set the time to whatever works for you. So I'm gonna do 10 minutes. Then underneath that, we can set a maximum bookings per day. So this is what you'll toggle on if you don't want to go all day from nine to five. You can cap it however you like. Next, it's going to show you what calendars are being checked for your availability. So the account you're signed into obviously is the primary calendar. If you wanna add more, you're gonna to need to upgrade to a Google One Premium plan to link multiple calendars. And last, you can adjust the color of this appointment schedule. Now, before we move on, there's something really important I wanna mention. As you go through this availability schedule, remember, you don't have to do any of this general availability at all. You can set the tasks so they don't repeat and just leave the one-off times you select to be your availability. So really what I'm trying to say here is that if you don't have a recurring weekly time or schedule that you can always be the same every single week, just individually add your time blocks when you can, just like you do to add an event on the calendar. So you really don't need to create any specific schedule. You can just do this randomly one date at a time. Hopefully this makes sense. Okay, back in our left-hand panel here, let's click on next. This is where we can customize booking details even further. So up at the top is the option to see how your identity is displayed on your booking page. Let's click on that drop down arrow and you'll see that it's exactly as your image and name is in your Google account. So this particular account I'm using is a test account. So you're gonna have like your profile picture here if you've got that set and your name if you've got that set. If you want to change that, you're going to have to click through to manage your Google account name and profile. Underneath that is the location and conferencing option. So this is where you can customize how you'd like to meet with people. Let's click on that drop down arrow and here you can select Google Meet, in person, phone call, or none slash to be specified later. I'm going to select Google Meet just for this particular example. Next, you can add a description. So this will appear on your booking page and in confirmation emails. So you could write nothing or you could write about your business or any type of important note that people should know when they're gonna book with you. So I'm just gonna write that something like, I don't know, there's gonna be a five minute grace period. If the person does not attend the call within the first five minutes, the meeting will be canceled. Really, whatever it is, you, you kind of get the idea here, right? Whatever you want. Now, this next feature is where you can customize what's found in the booking form. So in the dropdown in the booking form section, there are three default fields of first name, last name, and email address. So click on add an item to add extra information you'd like to collect. In this pop-up, you can add a phone number or a custom item. So let's click on custom. And maybe I want more context to the meeting. I'm just gonna add a meeting purpose field. Then I'm gonna toggle on the option to make this a required field. Then I'll click on add item. So now that custom item has been added and I can edit it from here too, or I can delete it. So you can keep adding whatever you see fit for your fields. Last, we've got the booking confirmations and reminders section. This is set so that you and the person who made the appointment will get confirmation emails with the calendar invite. So once you have everything all set as you like, click on save in the bottom right. 
So that's how to set up a booking schedule in Google Calendar. But now let's see what your booking page actually looks like. When you've got blocks of time set for bookings, they'll appear on your calendar with a little calendar icon in the left. To edit or view your booking page, just click on the title of your booking schedule. In this pop-up, you can click on open booking page to see your booking page. So this is what you see, the creator of that booking page initially. If you wanna see what others see, click on that option near the top. A new tab is gonna open where you can see that I've got 30 minute appointment blocks, we've got the meeting type I've set, plus my description up at the top, and then we've got my schedule of availability below, including the time zone. So now let's share this schedule with others and see what it looks like to book through an appointment page. Once again, you'll click on your time block and this time you'll select the share option. Here you can copy a link to share with others. So anyone with this link will see your booking page or you can grab a website embed, which is really cool. So you can set it as a button with a pop-up or as an inline booking page. So I'm actually gonna go back and copy this link and then access it from another browser to book an appointment. So here we are on the booking page using the link I have shared. I'll select a time slot here. Now, in this pop-up, we can see all the content info details we had set. So here are all the required fields. And of course, I've got to add the purpose of this meeting. And then I can just click on book. So once a meeting is booked, a confirmation pop-up appears. Here the person can cancel the appointment if necessary. But as promised, a confirmation email has been sent to the person booking the meeting, plus to you who set up the schedule. And of course, the booking schedule automatically updates. So now that time slot is no longer available on your booking schedule. And back in your Google Calendar, you now see that appointment block. And now you might be thinking, okay, what happens if I have my booking schedule set, but oops, something came up on my calendar that I have to add. Well, in your Google Calendar, you'll just click to add whatever event you need to, and automatically your availability schedule changes. So now I'm no longer available in between this time, and that is reflected for me on that booking schedule. It really couldn't be any easier. Now this whole thing may sound familiar to some of you and that's because if you have a paid Google Workspace account, you're already able to make appointment slots for others to see your availability and book with you. But this new booking page feature is free for all basic Google account users. Though, there is one caveat. You're only able to set up one type of appointment slot. Here's what I mean. So, we set up this schedule a time with me slot. If I click on my calendar and click on appointment schedule, my only options are to edit this current appointment schedule or delete this current appointment schedule. If you wanna create a new type of appointment, you're gonna to have to upgrade to Google One Premium. So just keep that in mind. This free option is really great if you only need like one general availability appointment schedule, kind of like I've showed you here. If you wanna customize and add additional booking pages, you're gonna to have to upgrade. Make sense? And by the way, if you want to delete the entire schedule or a portion of it, you can click on an appointment block, hit the delete option in the pop-up, and then from here, select whether you want to delete this week only, all weeks or all availability in its entirety. So if you're going away, you could just delete the week or start from scratch and delete it all. Do you see why this is one of my favorite Google Calendar updates for 2023? And now I wanna hear from you. What do you think of this Google Calendar booking schedule feature? Will you use it? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, well, I wanna know. So give it a like, a share, or leave that comment below. You can click right about here to subscribe to my channel and here and here for even more content just like this. So much Google goodness. Thanks for watching. See you next time.